One of the questions I often hear from Americans who want to teach English in South Korea is, do I have to use a channeler when I'm preparing my visa documents? The short answer is no, but let's take a look at a couple details to see whether it might benefit you. First, what is a channeler? Basically, it's a service that can help you prepare certain types of documents, often more quickly than you could do it yourself. In this case, we're talking about the FBI check, the apostille on your FBI check, and the apostille on your notarized degree copy. In my opinion, whether or not you should use a channeler depends on three things, the cost, the timing, and sometimes where you live in the US. Let's start with the FBI check. In the past, I always recommended using a channeler for this. That's because until around mid-2019, the estimated turnaround for an FBI check submitted directly was around 12 to 14 weeks. Since most schools in Korea don't hire four months in advance, it was really inconvenient for teachers because they had to start applying for their FBI check way before they knew if or when their job would start. Luckily, these days the FBI has reduced their estimate to around two to four weeks if applying directly via mail and about one week if using the electronic pre-application method. In contrast, a channeler will get you your result in about a week. There is a higher cost, with the direct FBI application costing 18 US dollars and a channeler starting around $50. So do you need a channeler for the FBI check? Only if you need to send your documents off in a hurry and you need them guaranteed back in your hands. Next, let's talk about apostilles. The first important thing to know is that you cannot get your FBI check and your notarized degree copy apostilled at the same office if you're doing it yourself. The FBI check is considered a federal document, so it must be apostilled at the federal level through the Department of State's Authentication Office in DC. Your notarized degree copy must receive a state-level apostille through the same state in which the notary service was performed, since notaries are registered through the state government. If you live in the DC area, you have the option to have your FBI check apostilled using the Authentication Office's walk-in service. This is only available on weekdays from 8 to 9 a.m., and you'll be able to pick up the completed apostille three business days later. Mail-in service is quoted at 12 business days turnaround time, but you should know that there are also security screenings which bring the total time to about one month. The fee for a direct application for this apostille is $8. My preferred apostille channeler, Monument Visa, is more expensive at $55 per document, but they will have it back to you in one week. The date printed on your FBI record check is only valid for six months for E2 VIN issuance purposes. So unless you live in the DC area and can visit the authentications office yourself, I do recommend using a channeler for the FBI apostille. For me, it's not worth risking your document not being returned in time to complete your VIN and visa process. To get an apostille on your notarized degree copy, first you'll need to confirm which office handles this in your area. Usually it's the Secretary of State or the Secretary of the Commonwealth. If you are not currently living in the same state where your university is, call ahead to the Apostille Issuing Office to check whether this will be a problem. Some states refuse to Apostille a notarized degree copy that comes from a public university in another state. This actually happened to me in Massachusetts and it was not a pleasant surprise. Second, confirm the fees, application methods, and processing times. If you mail in your document for apostille at the state level, it's typically returned within one to two weeks maximum. If you use the walk-in method, you can usually expect to take your completed document with you the same day. The fees are generally fairly affordable, with the average being around five to $10 per document. Hawaii is the cheapest at $1 per document, and there are some states who charge outrageous fees, such as Delaware, $30, and Connecticut, $40 per document. Monument Visa also offers apostille channeling for your notarized degree copy at the same cost of $55 per document. Again, just like the FBI apostille, they promise it back within a week. However, I don't usually recommend using a channeler for your notarized degree copy apostille because the difference in time is not that great and for most states, the cost will be significantly more. Let's review. First, the FBI check probably doesn't need a channeler these days. Do make sure to check their website first to make sure that the processing time is still within a reasonable limit. 
Second, the apostille on the FBI check does need a channeler's help, in my opinion, unless you live close enough to the authentications office in DC to use walk-in service. Even though it costs more, you don't want your FBI result to expire before your E2 is ready. Finally, the apostille on your notarized degree copy doesn't need a channeler. With just a couple exceptions, the difference in cost is quite large, while the difference in time is negligible. Of course, forget everything I just said if you just don't want to deal with the paperwork. If your time is worth a lot to you, go ahead and pay somebody else to take care of this on your behalf. In the end, it's your money and it's up to you. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any questions or a suggestion for a future video topic, please leave me a comment below. Make sure to like and share, and of course, subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks. If you need more personalized service, please send an email to koreae2helper at gmail.com.